Hello, I'm a certified technician and today we're going to be discussing how to place a hard drive and install Windows 10 on your Toshiba. If you're looking for just the portion on your operating system, skip to minute 2 and 18 seconds. Okay, so first, on your Toshiba, you're going to need a pry tool and a screwdriver to get inside it. You can make sure it's unplugged and that the battery is out. You're going to look for an easy access panel. Sometimes on the bottom there's a neat one you can just open up. Uh, if your Toshiba is not like that, like this one's not like that, you're going to need to take all your screws off. I already did. Uh, like so. And it's already pretty loose. So I'm going to take my pry tool, but it's already practically off. Unscrewing the, unscrewing the screws kind of did it for it. And then we're going to take it off to get to your hard drive. That's what it looks like. It's that rectangle right there in, in the rubber casing. Alright, now I'm going to push it away from the port. Take the little rubber stoppers out. And there we go. And this is called your hard drive caddy. It's removable. Sometimes you'll have to take some screws off to remove it. This is a SATA port. And this is a 2.5 size. Uh, you can also look up what your Toshiba needs on the manufacturer website for the specific specifications on how to replace a hard drive. But if it looks like this, that's a pretty standard size, that SATA connection with the 2.5. Uh, with a 2.5 size with the SATA connection. These uh, rubber hard drive caddies are kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, and once you get it on, make sure that you line up the skinny part of the port with, and with the skinny part of the, uh, sorry, the skinny part of the port on the hard drive with the actual port you try to put it in upside down it doesn't go in and once you slide it in you put those little rubber stoppers back in yeah there we go now I have a flush connection and there you go and then you would close it back up now first you in order to op install an operating system you're going to need a bootable USB we have a link down below on how to make a free one from Microsoft.com. You're going to take that bootable USB, plug it in, hit power, and immediately start tapping on F12 to get to your boot menu. And then you're going to select USB and hit enter. So once again, if you need a bootable USB, we have a link down below on how to make one from Microsoft.com for free. Bunch of stuff that looks like this before you get to the page you need. At this point, you're going to take your mouse and you're going to hit the next button. You're going to hit install now. You're going to see a lot of stuff like this. Setup is starting. You'll have to wait. It's okay. Then you're going to I accept the license and terms. You're going to hit next. Then hit custom. Then go ahead and delete all these partitions. Select one, hit delete. Sometimes there's a lot, don't worry. Go ahead and just delete them all. And then when it says unallocated space, like so, then you can hit next and it will start to install. As a shout out, if you run into any snags, your installation for any way reason doesn't work, we have a video on how to troubleshoot installation problems. Okay, so I fast forwarded to the end screen. Go ahead and hit restart now. You're going to get a bunch of these starting services, getting device ready, stuff like that. But once again, that video link for if you have any problems with it not completing, not working properly, that's in the description down below. Okay, so this means my installation is done after all that waiting time. You're going to hit yes. And then you're going to select your keyboard. I'm going to skip because I don't need a second keyboard. So now we're just going through different options. This is where you connect to a network. I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to, you would go ahead, select your network, hit connect, then type in your password. I'm going to write, I don't have internet. That way I'm not stuck putting, attaching my Microsoft account. This is a behind the scenes way of doing it, behind back door way, I mean. Hit continue with limited setup. And then boom, I don't need to attach a Microsoft email account. Then I can just name my PC whatever I want like a normal person and hit next. I type in Dell, next. I'm not going to do a password because I'm going to sell this computer. Uh, do more. I'm just going to hit no. I'm 
I am going to get help from the digital. I'm going to hit accept digital assistant and then accept once again because I'm okay with all these privacy settings and then I am done so there's gonna be some lag time in between some of these things but you're okay anyway that's how you install solid state drive and Windows 10 thanks for watching our video if you found it in any way helpful please like and share if you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos then go ahead and subscribe if you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.